going? I've got that sound. I've got that sound. I've got that sound. I've got that sound. one. Oh, she's off another one shot. Let me see. Oh, yes. Go to bed, boys. Hey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, we got you for the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone watching the video. My name is Ollie, otherwise known as Owen and Be Known, and wanted to share my thoughts on season five now that I've completed the role to commander. I'm 155 on the game. It was actually really easy to do so, to be honest. Especially since this time round, I wanted to grind out the new weapons. So, that in combination with the double XP weekend, I was hitting it hard and the levels were flying up. Obviously, I did combine it with some Warzone as well. I've been playing quite a lot of solos. So, the last part of this video is just a random bunch of clips that I've accumulated on solos in the past few days on the way to 155. So, be sure to stick around for that. In the middle part for you, I'll have a multiplayer section where I'll show you the best class setups for the AN94 and the ISO and my thoughts on whether you should bother actually ranking them up. I'm sure you can see by the clips in the background of the AN94 Car 98 setup that I've got going on. I have been using the AN94 quite a bit in Warzone and it is actually a really, really solid setup for the game. Season 5 has brought us a few new additions to the game. Firstly, the brand new train that's been laid on the train tracks. I love that addition to the game, it's such a fun little new place to land, not to mention the shitload of loot that's always on there, so if you're in a squad game, especially, if you land on there with your team, chances are you'll have the money to get your loadout straight away, so if you're the kind of team that likes to push, play aggressive, that's the best way to do it I think right now. The stadium has been a really good addition as well, obviously, had so many people have been landing there, so it's been absolutely chaotic. They've introduced the ground loot car 98 with the sniper scope on, which is just heaven for me. So that's just made the drops even better. Find one of them and just run around the stadium causing havoc. One thing I have noticed landing there the past few weeks, the new train station, not many people seem to land there. Obviously I have majority been playing solo, so I don't know if it is different in quads and trios. However, when I'm landing there, maybe one person max, if that. And it really is just absolutely filled with loot, so that's another place I'd recommend checking out if you don't already land there. Before I carry on, <laughs> check out this fucking clip in this game. Uh, <laughs> makes me laugh every time, to be honest. I snipe him on the back, so obviously, teammates are trying to get him safety. No, drives him in the storm instead. What an absolute mad guy. <laughs> So that I just wait a few seconds to get my kill confirmed, but yeah, I really don't know what he was thinking to be honest. You really wouldn't want him as your driver on Warzone, would you? Anyway, the AN94 really good in multiplayer, but even better in Warzone. That's when the game changes. The brought out an assault rifle that competes with the Kilo, the Fal, and even competes with the Bruin to be honest drops so fast at medium range long range and with the right setup which I'll show you guys in a minute it really really is good The ISO on the other hand can only be described with one word and that's disappointing. It was a nightmare to rank up because the low magazine size, it just doesn't drop quick enough in Warzone, it really doesn't. The mobility is slower than the MP5 because you've got to put a drum mag on it in order to get the 50 rounds, so it really isn't worth it. If you want a new SMG on your board of all the others, it is usable, 
and if you're alright to the game you will get kills with it but if you want to be sticking to the meta MP5, MP7 and even P90 as a close third but the ISO just doesn't cut it for me obviously either way if you want to use it here is the best class setup for it and screenshot it if you want to I'll have the AN94 one up for you in a second as well a quick tip I'll leave you with on how to rank up really fast just combine multiplayer with whatever double XP tokens you've got and make sure you're in as many regiments as you can be because you're in them regiments happy hours you can get quad XP and the way I done it I played four or five games of domination in that time and I was hitting close to half a million XP in an hour which is just ridiculous so if you get a little bit of multiplayer in there every single day firstly that helps with aim anyway and warms you up in the game plus you will rank up really fast combine that with ranking these new guns up as well the AN94 and you'll get to 155 in no time My only issue with the game is, is the mad horrible servers, they need to sort it out, I keep getting kicked out of games, especially in trios quads, it's not too bad in solos, even though I did get kicked out of one the other day as well, and it really really is frustrating when you've been playing the game for 20 minutes, you're in there, sometimes you're in the final circle and stuff, I've been kicked out and it's demoralising, and I'm sure some people have already stopped playing the game because of it, so that's my one thing, please sort the servers, Infinity Ward, other than that, you've got a great game there. Season farm has been awesome. I'm gonna go carry on playing. I've got the level 100 N94 there to play today, so expect the gameplay with that. I will have a full full sniper guide to Warzone in the next few days with loads of different sniper setups, sniping techniques, and what I've basically learned over the last 10 months of sniping on Modern Warfare. So all that's left to say is I hope everyone has a beautiful day. I'm gonna leave you guys with a bit of season five solos action. Sounds a bit weird though. <laughs> Anyway, subscribe if you're new. Peace out, YouTube.